Hello! In this tutorial, we will learn how to become a pro full stack developer and set up a full full stack development environment. At the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to scaffold an application in minutes, write your backend in JavaScript, and write tests, get access to a local server, and front end dependency management, all of which is within the realm of a full stack developer. So the first thing you're going to need to do is install Node. So you can install Node by visiting their website nodejs.org if you're on a PC or you can install it via Brew if you're on a Mac. So make sure you have Node installed and then come back. I'll give you a minute. Alright, so you have Node installed on your computer. Now open a new folder. This is going to be your first full stack project and um, open your, uh, your terminal window of choice and go to that folder. I prefer a git bash, but you can use whatever you like. So here we have um, the terminal open in this folder. Now we're going to have to install a few things. The beautiful thing about installing them is these can all be done automatically once you have Node. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use npm or the node package modules tool to install some of the tools we're going to be using to automatically be a full stack developer. The first one we're going to install is Boer, which is basically the front end version of npm. We'll see what it does in a minute, but for the meantime, just type npm install g Boer. Now when you use the G flag, it means it's going to install this in your root directory and Boer is going to be accessible for all your projects. If you don't use the G flag, you need to install Boer individually in every folder where there's a project where you want to use Boer. Boer is so useful, we're going to install it everywhere. So go ahead and install Boer. Since I already have Boer on my computer, this is going to take less time than expected. It might take a minute, so just let it install Boer and uh, come back when you're done. Alright, so we have Boer installed. Next thing we need to install is Grunt. So Grunt is our full stack development manager, which means that with Grunt we're going to get a local server, we're going to get testing. Grunt is just going to do all this for us in combination with Yeoman. Now some people prefer Gulp. Gulp is also a good tool. I prefer Grunt. So that's what we're going to use in this particular tutorial. So just like we did with Boer, npm install g, Grunt, and press enter. And it'll take a while and just come back after Grunt's installed. Very good. Now, if you're running into errors, this might happen if you were on a Mac and you didn't use Brew to install Node. If you are getting errors and this is the case, please uninstall Node and use Brew to install Node. Next, we have to install the Grunt command line interface. This will allow us to type the word Grunt and get cool stuff happening, which we'll see in just a minute. So npm install g grunt cli. And this will take probably a minute, so come back when you're done. Alright, now we have our basic tools. Now we're going to install the Scaffold Manager. This is sort of the secret to full stack development, and this will let you to scaffold um, a sweet application in moments. So we're going to use npm the same. We're going to be, say npm install g yo. And yo stands for yeoman, um, which uh, is the tool, it's what it's called. So npm install g yo. And we're going to install that. That might take a, a good amount of time. So just come back when that's done. All right, so you have Yeoman installed. Now, Yeoman is a tool that uses a modular configuration called a generator. So you take Yeoman, and once you have it installed, you have to install at least one generator for Yeoman to use. In this case, we're going to use the web app generator, which is a very powerful, full feature generator that will give you access to tools and testing, and you'll be powered by Grunt. So go ahead and install um, your uh, first generator with npm install g. I'm going to say generator dash web app. Now, whenever anything has the prefix generator, that means it's a yeoman generator. So that's sort of a hint, that's a generator. And we'll install that. That might take a good amount of time. So 
So with our generator installed, we're ready to make our first full stack application. So go ahead and type yo web app. Now when you type that, if you're hopefully you'll see the yeoman dude. If you did, everything is okay. If not, work your way back through this tutorial, making sure you followed all the steps and troubleshoot as necessary using the website Stack Overflow. So Yeoman here, Yeoman is interesting because this friendly man is actually an abstraction for a fiendishly complex series of abstractions, which are too difficult to even understand, let alone explain. The point is the friendly man in the hat makes it all easy. So Yeoman will scaffold an app and the way you configure this app is just with this simple question interface. Use the arrow keys and the space bar to select and press enter when you're done. In this case, we're just going to go with the default of bootstrap and press enter. And Yeoman is now going to beam uh, this website um, down uh, from sort of space. It's going to use um, Bower to install the packages. If you get any errors at this point, you're going to want to troubleshoot using Stack Overflow. Usually it'll mean you're missing a, a package, perhaps Karma. It really depends on um, a lot of things, including timing. So um, if you get any errors, just go for that. And be sure, if you want to um, leave the error you got in the comments, and I'll be sure to address it um, either with an annotation or uh, in the next video. So let that finish. That might take a minute if it's your first time using Yeoman, and come back to us once that's finished. All right, so you finished installing the uh, web app. You might have gotten an error or two. Uh, try not to worry about those um, unless they hold you up. So here, um, you'll notice in the folder, Yeoman's created this brand new folder um, with all this cool stuff. It's all based on the generator. This generator has made us a bower.json, a package.json, a grunt file, an app directory, pretty much all stuff we wanted. Very sweet, and Yeoman's let us do this in only a few minutes. So now we have this all ready, we can now uh, test our brand new website. So just type grunt serve. All right, so if all went to plan, grunt will now have opened your brand new website in a window. Here's what it should look like, more or less. So this is your website and it's been scaffolded based on these files that Yeoman's created. So here's uh, the website, and you can see it's already come um, pre-packaged uh, with uh, jQuery and um, Bootstrap as well, so that's really cool. You're already um, set if this is as far as you want to go. Now, you're probably saying, well, that was a lot just to get a boilerplate, but we've gained a access to a lot of powerful functions. We're only going to go through one, and that's Bower. Remember, we installed Bower earlier, and Bower combined with Web App does some cool stuff. So I'm going to open a new terminal in the same directory and I'm going to type bower install dash dash save d3. At this point, bower is going to find the JavaScript front-end package d3 from the internet, download it into the folder at which point grunt will see that bower.json has updated and update my index.html. Meanwhile, back at the farm, with my website here, if I type D3, now I have D3. I didn't even refresh the page. That was pretty sweet. Let's watch that one more time. All right, so let's install another sweet front end package. I'm gonna say uh, bower install save lodash. You have to have save or else Grunt won't see it. So Bower is going to find a Lodash, install it, save it, and there Grunt sees that change. It's going to update. This website updates automatically, and now I have Lodash. Ho oh, ho! Being a full stack developer is fun and easy. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, and now that you're all set, you'll be able to keep up with a lot more of my tutorials. You can easily install whatever library you need using Bower and get your scaffold going with Grunt. Fun and easy. Well, hope that helped. Have a good day.